Hello and welcome to Calagra Market. We are back after a long gap. I was it here in Bangalore um, for I mean how many days were they off? I think I was off on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Came back today finally somewhere around uh, somewhere around uh, today uh, around eight in the evening and now we are back and uh, uh, interesting week it has been. The last time we talked it was before the Friday market open. And we were anticipating that there might be some sort of a small reversal. And uh, in case there is a small reversal, we were thinking that it's a good idea to, you know, um, get out of uh, uh, the uh, uptick. Uh, and I think uh, we were not, we were expecting the market not to sustain the momentum. We were expecting it to, you know, uh, come back. And that's what played out. Now, in retrospect, right, uh, uh, this is one occasion when we realize that a call selling works out better than uh, future shorting on almost all occasions. Uh, and this is because if we had sold the call, Ghumfirke uh, market has come back and we have made around 200 points. But if you are short futures, then we are just stuck, right? Uh, in Pyrotech is saying Fed meet tonight. Oh, that is going to make it very, very interesting. Uh, so Pranav is saying that early channel is looking very interesting for uh, Nifty. So let's take Pranav's advice and look at early chart of Nifty. Okay, this is super interesting as Pranav is saying. So we can see some kind of a sorry. We can see some kind of a channel getting formed. Uh, in uh, the earlies but I'd say that it is very tempting to say that this is early signs of a channel formation but not too many points there but nifty is below 50, 100 and 50, uh, 200 hourly moving averages on the daily charts and this is important today nifty formed a bearish engulfing uh, candle on nifty futures or nifty spot it has not formed a bearish engulfing it's a you know regular uh, red candle now we can see that nifty is trying to consolidate with a negative bias somewhere over here and like uh, somebody was pointing out in pyrotech was pointing out there is fed meat tonight so charts are going to be a little bit under uh, jeopardy when there is a federal reserve event let's look at other cues and find our view for today so long term picture is still intact Nifty is below all three moving averages and below this uh, trend line. So it is negative, no questions asked. It's also below the middle of this channel. It is still negative, no questions asked. Now, let's see last week's candle. And last week's candle, we talked about this, right? Last week, we said that if it's not a perfectly formed reversal candle, which it was not, it might not sustain was our last week's analysis. And uh, last week on Friday, it formed a big candle but this is not a reversal candle in fact funny enough if it had closed below 16,000 on Friday it would have been an inverted hammer or a harami and that would have been a reversal but a super strong close invalidated a reversal for nifty and it went to the you know uh, bottom of this uh, zone of selling which is somewhere around here and now it is going back again right so nifty is back into the negative territory no questions at all about that now let's look at open interest right now it's this is a very important exercise if you look at open interest in general right you'll see that there is support at 16,000 right but but the problem is uh, if you look at data over the last one or two days today everybody sold calls right 15 million calls 12 million puts unbound if you look at it yesterday also there is no put addition at 16,000. Puts were removed from 16,000 and again call addition. If you look at day before yesterday also, puts were unwound from 16,000 and there was call addition all around. In fact, the last time we saw a put build up at 16,000 was May 20th which is the Friday. And after Friday, nobody has really sold calls at 16,000. So this is a deceptive looking option chain simply because I don't think this is a real support because this is from Friday's OI. After Friday, there has been no OI here. And this is one place where multi strike OI helps you, right? The, the problem is, if you look at this, 
you will think that 16,000 is a support. But if you look at this, it is very clear that 16,000 is not that strong a support. PCR is also very low at 0.6. Now, just let's to get, just to get perspective, let's look at multi strike OI also, right? Uh, yeah, this is where problems start for me. If you look at uh, uh, 16,000 put of 26th May over the last few days, uh, it has been on a largely flat to declining trend right this is may 20th right so on till may 20th there was some build up but today there are less puts at 16000 than there were on may 20th so put has net net gone down after friday right and the, and the catch is this call which is 16200 call has exponentially gone up at every single day after uh, uh, you know 26th may uh, sorry 26th this is not 26th may this is the expiry day i mean to say 23rd may right so uh, just one word of caution don't look at this option chain and decide there's a support at 16000 tomorrow please don't be tempted into selling the 16000 put i know you'll be it's an easy sell to do 16000 call or 1600 call but there won't much premium here so people will be tempted to see er 16000 pay support they chalo they base they put please don't do that this is not a real support as we can see from the last 3 days activity now to make things worse if you go to fii data fii sold calls 44000 and bought put 18000 this is a net net uh, 54 uh, close to 62,000 uh, options contract in the bearish direction and you can see that this has diverged right the the gap between the call and put has gone up a lot and calls are now dominating so puts are now dominating 3 lakh puts and around 1.6 lakh calls that is not very positive index futures is 1000 crores up I mean that's okay and 1800 crore cash selling so again including friday on all days fia has been selling on cash the last time fia bought in cash is 700 crores on 28th april so overall right uh, the verdict is very negative still negative simply because stock data is sell option data is sell option chain is looking weak charts are looking weak so i'll be very happy to uh, sell long term calls or even sell futures now that said, let's move to Bank Nifty and see what's up with Bank Nifty. There is a gap here and the gap is not getting filled. Every time it goes near that gap, it gets rejection, right? Um, sorry, sorry, that was all the driving I did from 9 in the morning to 8.30 in the evening. Um, Calicut on Google Maps, I mean, which is where I am from, is uh, 8 hours and 30 minutes if you start at 9 o'clock. <laughs> I got like a... Uh, 45 minute traffic jam for the last three kilometers in Bangalore. So imagine that, right? It's like crazy. I don't know why, how people can live in cities. Uh, I think we should all move back to small towns. Uh, so anyway, the, you can see a lot of series of spinning tops here. Doji, doji, doji. This gap is not really getting filled, which is a sign of weakness. Although it's above the middle of the channel, but it's still a massive sign of weakness. Uh, if you look at weekly chart of bank nifty also i think that will be a consolidation chart yeah i mean there was there is a uncertainty doji forming in the weekly chart of bank nifty finally looking at usdnr usdnr is not going back into the channel it is consolidating after breaking the all time high uh, so i would expect usdnr if it consolidates here more to go up up and away and hit 78 probably so uh, net net my read is this right nifty looks pretty weak bank nifty looks pretty weak bank nifty doesn't look all that weak but nifty definitely looks weak and usdnr looks strong it looks like a risk of sentiment is coming i've been saying the same thing and market hasn't really gone up from that level it's been in the you know 16200 to 15800 zone so call selling or even put selling for that reason would have worked really well now the catch is this right uh, somebody was saying today's fomc so let's look at that quickly okay so fomc meeting minutes are happening i don't think uh, i don't think there is a federal uh, i don't think there's a fed uh, rates decision today i think it's only a release of minutes 
yeah yeah it's not an fomc meeting it is the minutes of meeting i don't think that is as big an event as so let's look at it right investing.com Let's see what today's event is. Everybody is saying there's some FOMC happening. FOMC is Let's look at only US. Even India gets affected by a phone. See, these, these are too many filters. Right? I think clear all and let's select United States. Oh, somebody needs to work on the UI of this thing. Yeah. Today, I don't think there is a major event today, is it? Somebody was saying this FOMC, I don't see anything in FOMC. Yeah, FOMC, there's a... Somebody speaking today, I don't... It's, it's just a minutes, right? So, it's the minutes from the last meeting which happened in May. I don't think this is as big an event as the meeting itself. But anyway, who knows, right? I mean, anyway, we don't have to... Uh, we don't have to really look at the um, uh, event that way. The important point is that we know what the chart looks like, we know what the option chain looks like, we know what the FIA data is saying, uh, the view is intact, whatever we said last week is still the view. I think Nifty is going to really really struggle to go above the 16300-400 zone. I think the bias is negative, 15500 is a very very live possibility. This is not the time for going long, this is not the time for building your portfolio. This, I mean if there's a time, if this is the time for anything it is to potentially sell call options or even short futures for you know very nimble targets uh, so that is our read on the market today um, we'll see you again tomorrow uh, thank you guys for joining as usual this is not uh, advised uh, multi-bagger tips or anything it's just you know trying to understand the market in a certain framework uh, which we will use for your own analysis so on that note i'll take your leave um, as usual please don't trade because somebody is asking you to trade keep your capital safe if you preserve your capital and if you stay in the game in the long run it is possible to be profitable so on that note i'll see you again tomorrow take care bye and good night